savvy. Did you know that there are countries where American citizens find it difficult, if not impossible, to travel or move to? Navigating the labyrinth of global geopolitics, one can find a range of factors that make certain destinations less than welcoming for the savvy American traveler. These may be due to restrictive entry requirements, ongoing conflict, or even economic instability. From the hermit kingdom of North Korea to the vibrant culture of Cuba, these complexities abound. And we have a bonus for watching all the way to the end that will make your journey so much simpler. Intrigued? Let's delve into the details. First on our list is North Korea, a country known for its very restrictive entry requirements. This enigmatic nation, shrouded in secrecy and known for its strict rules and regulations, is not a place you can just book a ticket to and explore on your own. In North Korea, independent travel is a no-go. The government mandates that tourists must be part of a guided tour, ensuring a tightly controlled experience. This means you can't just wander around freely, snapping photos of anything that catches your eye. Instead, savvy travelers must navigate their journey under the watchful eyes of their assigned guides. And it's not just about sightseeing. Even the process of getting into the country is a meticulous one. The visa application isn't something you can breeze through, but rather a carefully monitored process with no room for error. But why the restrictions? Well, the North Korean government is keen on maintaining control over what outsiders see and experience in their country. Every part of the journey from the moment you step foot on North Korean soil is curated to project a certain image of the nation. Yet despite these constraints, some intrepid adventurers find the allure of the unknown irresistible. The chance to peek behind the curtain of one of the world's most secretive states can be a draw for the truly adventurous. Moving on, we fly from the secretive state of North Korea to the vast landscapes of Russia. Russia, where diplomatic tensions and sanctions can make the visa process quite complicated. The vast expanse of Russia, stretching from the Baltic Sea in the west to the Pacific Ocean in the east, has long been a captivating destination for travelers. However, for the savvy American explorer, the journey to this part of the world can be a bit of a challenge. Geopolitical tensions between the United States and Russia have resulted in a complex and often restrictive visa process. This is a classic case of politics playing out in the realm of travel, making the Russian bear's den a difficult one to venture into. The process involves a thorough application, an invitation from a Russian citizen or approved travel agency, and a lot of patience. Despite these hurdles, the allure of Russia's rich history, diverse culture, and stunning landscapes continues to draw in those willing to navigate the bureaucratic maze. From the iconic domes of St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow to the majestic Winter Palace in St. Petersburg, Russia offers a wealth of experiences that are worth the effort. However, it's always essential to stay informed and savvy about the current state of affairs. Keep in mind that regulations can change quickly and what might be a tedious process today could become even more complex tomorrow. From the cold winters of Russia, we now head to the hot deserts of Syria. Syria, a country where ongoing conflict and restrictive visa policies make travel and relocation extremely difficult and dangerous. In the heart of the Middle East, Syria is a nation steeped in history, a cradle of civilizations where the echoes of the past still reverberate. But today, it is a land ravaged by war. The ongoing conflict, which has raged for over a decade, has left the country in ruins and its people in despair. For the adventurous and the savvy, Syria might have once been a destination of choice, with its ancient cities, desert landscapes, and warm, hospitable people. But the harsh reality today is that the escalating conflict and political instability have made it one of the most dangerous places in the world. Visa policies are extremely restrictive, with applications often denied or delayed indefinitely. Furthermore, the U.S. Department of State has a Level 4 travel advisory in place for Syria, advising Americans not to travel to the country due to terrorism, civil unrest, and armed conflict. The situation in Syria is a stark reminder of how geopolitical tensions and internal conflicts can transform a nation. It's a sobering testament to the importance of peace, stability, and understanding in our world. Navigating Syria's current landscape requires more than just a keen sense of adventure. It requires savvy, courage, and a deep understanding of the risks involved. As we leave the deserts of Syria, we find ourselves in the historic land of Iran. A Iran, a country where high geopolitical tensions and complex visa requirements can make travel quite tricky. A land of ancient empires and rich culture, 
Iran's allure is undeniable. But for Americans, the journey to explore its charm comes with its own set of challenges. You see, in Iran, it's not as simple as hopping on a plane and landing with your passport in hand. No, it requires a bit more savvy. Tourist travel often necessitates being part of a guided tour, and independent exploration isn't quite the norm. A bit of a bummer for those of us who enjoy straying off the beaten path, isn't it? But don't be too dismayed. These tours can offer a unique, structured insight into Iran's historical and cultural treasures. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, geopolitical tensions. These can certainly cast a shadow over travel plans, making the visa process a bit more complex than most destinations. You'll need to prove your trip's purpose, provide detailed itineraries, and meet other stringent criteria. A bit of a hassle, perhaps. But for the savvy traveler, these obstacles are just another part of the journey. So, if you're up for the challenge, Iran's ancient landscapes and rich history are waiting. Just remember, it's not about the destination, but the journey that takes you there. From the historic landscapes of Iran, we now set our sights on the troubled nation of Libya. Libya, a country where ongoing instability and security concerns severely limit travel options. This North African nation, rich with historical sites and stunning landscapes, is unfortunately marred by political turmoil and acts of violence that make it a high-risk destination for travelers. A savvy traveler must be aware of the unpredictable security situation. The absence of effective law enforcement, coupled with sporadic clashes between rival factions, contributes to an environment that is not conducive to tourism or relocation. In the capital, Tripoli, and across the country, the presence of armed groups adds an element of uncertainty and danger. These groups can act with impunity, further destabilizing the already tenuous security situation. Travel advisories consistently warn against all but essential travel to Libya, with many countries having no diplomatic presence in the country. Relocating to Libya is equally challenging. The instability impacts all aspects of life, from basic services to the economy. It's not a decision to be taken lightly, and certainly not without thorough research and understanding of the risks involved. The savvy traveler knows that despite the allure of undiscovered destinations, safety must always come first. Libya, with its current state of affairs, is a stark reminder of this fact. Leaving the turbulent shores of Libya, we head to the crisis-ridden country of Venezuela. Venezuela, a country where an economic crisis and political instability complicate travel. Situated on the northern coast of South America, this land of breathtaking landscapes and rich culture has become a challenging terrain for the savvy American traveler. Venezuela's stringent visa requirements have only added to the complexity of travel. The American traveler must navigate a maze of paperwork and bureaucratic red tape, all while keeping an eye on the ever-shifting political landscape. Even once the visa is in hand, the journey is far from over. The economic crisis that has gripped Venezuela for years has left its mark on every aspect of life. From the scarcity of basic goods to the hyperinflation that makes currency almost meaningless, the economic instability presents a unique set of challenges for the traveler. The political instability, a constant companion to the economic crisis, has further complicated travel. Protests, demonstrations, and clashes between political factions are not uncommon, making certain areas and times particularly risky for travel. Despite these challenges, the resilient spirit of the Venezuelan people shines through. Their rich culture, vibrant music, and tantalizing cuisine offer a compelling glimpse into a country that, despite its current crisis, remains a captivating destination. But for the American traveler, a keen sense of adventure and a savvy understanding of the landscape are vital. From the crisis-stricken landscapes of Venezuela, we journey to the war-torn land of Yemen. Yemen, a country where civil war and safety concerns make travel extremely risky and complicated. Imagine a nation that once was a cradle of ancient civilization, now torn apart by civil war. Yemen, situated at the southernmost tip of the Arabian Peninsula, is that nation. For the savvy traveler who loves history and culture, Yemen was once a fascinating destination. Yet today, it stands as a stark reminder of how conflict can ravage a society and its people. As we delve into the heart of Yemen's troubles, we find a country embroiled in a devastating civil war since 2015. This conflict has left a significant portion of the population in desperate need of humanitarian aid and has made the nation one of the most dangerous places on earth. The ongoing civil war has created a volatile security environment with widespread violence and criminal activity. 
kidnappings, bombings, and other violent incidents are sadly common, making any form of travel or relocation not just complicated, but extremely risky. Moreover, the presence of extremist groups such as Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula adds another layer of danger. These groups often target Westerners, further dissuading American travelers. For the savvy adventurer, Yemen's complex history and rich culture might be enticing. But the current state of unrest and conflict presents a profound challenge, making Yemen a destination that is, for now, best admired from afar. As we leave the troubled landscapes of Yemen, we find ourselves in the volatile region of Somalia. Somalia, a country where security issues and a lack of diplomatic presence make travel or relocation highly risky. This East African nation is often portrayed as a land where law and order are elusive concepts. Navigating through Somalia is like walking through a labyrinth, except the walls are made of uncertainty and potential danger. The security issues are indeed profound. From piracy off the coast to internal conflict, Somalia is a land where the unexpected is the norm. No corner of this labyrinth is truly safe. Even the savviest of travelers can find themselves in situations that are far from their control. Adding to the challenge is the lack of a consistent diplomatic presence. The United States, like many other countries, does not maintain an embassy in Somalia. This means that if an American runs into trouble, getting help can be exceptionally difficult. There's no safety net of diplomatic intervention to fall back on. And yet despite these risks and challenges, Somalia is a land of resilient people and rich cultural heritage. It's a testament to human spirit, where people strive to create normalcy in the face of adversity. But for the average American traveler or someone contemplating relocation, the risks far outweigh the potential rewards. Leaving the lawless land of Somalia behind, we journey to the conflict-ridden country of Afghanistan. Afghanistan, a country where ongoing security risks and conflict make it difficult for Americans to travel or move there safely. This nation, steeped in ancient history and diverse cultures, is unfortunately also known for its decades-long conflict that has created a challenging environment for travelers. The situation in Afghanistan is characterized by a complex mosaic of instability and unrest. This is not a country for the faint-hearted or the unprepared. Navigating the landscape, both literally and figuratively, requires a level of savvy and resilience that goes beyond the usual tourist experience. Afghanistan's ongoing conflict has its roots in a turbulent history of power struggles, foreign interventions, and internal divisions. The resulting security risks are significant, with areas of the country frequently experiencing violent incidents, including bombings and kidnappings. The unpredictability of these incidents makes travel and relocation a perilous endeavor. The U.S. Department of State has issued a Level 4 travel advisory for Afghanistan, advising Americans not to travel there due to crime, terrorism, civil unrest, kidnapping, and armed conflict. The advisory also warns that the U.S. Embassy's ability to provide routine and emergency services to U.S. citizens in Afghanistan is severely limited. Despite the security challenges and travel risks, Afghanistan remains a country of immense cultural richness and natural beauty. However, the prudent traveler must consider the realities of the situation on the ground. From the war-torn landscapes of Afghanistan, we make our final stop in the vibrant island nation of Cuba, a country where U.S. sanctions and regulations can make relocation or conducting business quite challenging. Welcome to the island nation of Cuba, a place known for its sun-soaked beaches, vibrant music, and rich cultural history. But it's not all sunshine and salsa for American citizens looking to travel, move, or do business here. For tourists, travel to Cuba is not outright forbidden, but it does come with certain stipulations. Americans are required to fall under one of 12 specific license categories defined by the U.S. government, which range from family visits to journalistic activity, religious activities, and more. It's not as simple as booking a flight and packing your bags. For those with dreams of moving to Cuba or conducting business on the island, the situation becomes even more complex. U.S. sanctions and regulations pose significant hurdles. The U.S. embargo on Cuba prohibits most forms of investment, and American citizens living in Cuba cannot earn a salary or compensation. It's a tough road for even the most savvy of entrepreneurs or those seeking a change of scenery. The reality is, while Cuba is a beautiful and culturally rich country, the legal and bureaucratic challenges can make it a difficult destination for Americans. But for those with the savvy and determination to navigate these complexities, the rewards can be immense. That concludes our journey through these 10 countries. 
It's a complex world out there, isn't it? Thank you for joining us on this intriguing journey. We've traversed through 10 countries where travel or relocation can be quite a challenge for Americans. But wait, we have a bonus for our viewers. You can support the channel further by checking out our links in the description for great deals on Travel Savvy AAA rated essential travel items for all of the needs on your next journey. So let's stay savvy about global travel restrictions and remember, the world is vast, filled with places to explore and knowledge is our ticket. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay savvy. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends. Stay savvy and we'll see you in the next video.